talking about a major recall. So major, major recall here. I love the 2.7 liter V6. I think it's really, really reliable, but we got a bit of a problem here. Let's dive into it. Let's not blow the story out of proportion. Let's cover the real deal here. So Ford Bronco, Ford F-150, Ford Edge, Ford Nautilus, Ex uh, Explorer, Aviators. We've got a 2.7 liter V6 twin turbo, the EcoBoost, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. We've got a major recall coming in here. No, it doesn't mean that the engine is complete garbage. It's not hot, hot garbage. We do have an issue. Ford's doing the right thing. They're recalling it. Not like those Porsche 911 and Porsche Boxster engines from the late 90s and early, early to actually late 2000s. Never did a recall on it. I, in either one of the 911s could end up having a $25,000 rebuild. It happens often enough. But Ford's doing the right thing here, and they're going to be giving you a new engine, possibly. So let's talk about what you need to do as a buyer and owner, whether you're looking to buy a used Bronco, uh, a used Bronco, or a used Ford Edge, Explorer, Nautilus, all the vehicles that we've mentioned. You need to know what to do here. And you need to be a smart shopper, so let's cover what needs to be done. But even if you're not a smart shopper, and you don't know what dates to watch out for, then... Then you'll want to know this because if the engine does blow, you're going to want to be able to kind of, some dealers need some solid encouragement because not all dealers are built the same. Some are very, many are very nice. Some are kind of nasty. So Ford V6 EcoBoost engines recalled over faulty intake valves. Brett Foote, fantastic journalist as always. Thank you for bringing us this article. If you like reading, read it after watching the episode here. But Ford's recalling some 2021 and 2022 Ford Broncos, Ford F-150, Ford Edge, Ford Explorer, Lincoln Nautilus, and Lincoln Aviators. And that's with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. That's a V6 with twin turbos. A lot of stories about the Broncos 2.7 liter. You know, Scotty Kilmore kind of saying like, oh, don't buy a Bronco, the engine's horrible, that kind of thing. It happened, there's a handful, a few handfuls, a little over 50 engines that had issues. That was in regards to the valve train. This is over a faulty intake valve. Ford switched the motors on those Broncos and they're going to switch, potentially switch the motors on these. Now, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, uh, they had opened an investigation on this in October 23, October 2023, and Ford has recalled some 90,000 vehicles. So what could happen? Well, in certain of in some of the 90 some thousand vehicles the engine intake valves could break while driving which can result in engine failure and a loss of drive power which will be your engine's done so the hazards uh, what's the danger behind this well it could lead to well it could you could have a loss of power now if you have a loss of power it could lead to crash but if you feel like your vehicle's lost power just safely put your blinker on don't panic put your blinker on and remember you can always coast you have your emergency lights as well a little emergency light on a bronco is up here pretty easy to find f-150 pretty easy to find if your ford f-150 it seems to lose power don't panic don't start slamming on the gas or slamming on the brakes you can just coast to safety with your emergency lights on that's what the soft shoulder or shoulders some roads have them on the left and the right side that's what those soft shoulders are for make sure you pull well off the road without going down a ditch or a ravine uh and pujol says it's called rapid rapid unscheduled yeah yeah rapid un unscheduled um i didn't catch the the, the end of that um but uh, hopefully that'll post up again because it quickly my brain quickly read it i'm like yeah that's a dis disassembly yeah rapid uh disassembly uh yes very much so so the components are the engine intake valves it's not all 2.7 liters so Scotty Kilmore and others on YouTube and journalists around the world, please leave it to the facts. Here at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, we make sure you don't get fooled. So we're going to cover the story the correct way, the right way, with the right information. So please hit that like button, share this info, subscribe, and turn bell notifications on because here... I will do my best to never fool anyone. If I do fool the community, it's because I was fooled and I work pretty hard to not get fooled. I'm an insider, so I'll give you the real deal right here. 
It's not all 2.7 liters. Don't avoid buying an EcoBoost engine. The 2.7 liter in the F-150, really fuel efficient, tons of fun in the Bronco, surprisingly less fuel efficient, at least for me, than if I had the 2.7 liter in an F-150, but I love my Bronco. And it will even affect some three liter V6 EcoBoosts. Now, it's for the Bronco and F-150, it's models produced between May 1st, 2021 and October 30th, 2021. So you've got a, you know, about a four or five month stint there where it could be affecting the vehicles for the 2021 Edge and Nautilus. Those are crossovers. If they were built between May 10th, 2021 and October 29th, 2021, not when you bought it, not when it arrived at the dealership, but when they were built, well, between May 10th, 2021 and October 29th, 2021, it could be affected. Not all of them could be affected. And the Explorer or Aviator models produced from June 7th, 2021 to October 31st, 2021 could be affected. Potential vehicles affected, 90,736. They're not switching every single engine like Toyota finally got around to doing for the Toyota Tundra Hybrid. It's all of the 2022 and 2023 hybrid tundras all 102,000 of those engines there they all need to re be replaced they're they're all bad here you've got potentially 90,736 that will need to be replaced likely we're talking about hundreds maybe a few thousand i'd suspect you know following recalls for the last a little over a decade at ford I suspect this is probably going to actually end up affecting anywhere from 50 to anywhere maximum 5,000, but I've got a feeling we're going to be talking about a few hundred, uh, a handful of hundreds of vehicles. So the fix, dealers will perform an engine cycle test and re replace the engine as necessary free of charge. So make sure you don't pay for this. Ford dealers, if they're in the know, know they're being paid by Ford to check your engine for free if you fall within those dates. And if it doesn't pass their test, you will get a new engine. And Pujo pointing out that uh, pulling over on the shoulder on uh, Black Bear Pass, I have a feeling it's probably a, a straight drop. So yes, there's some places where uh, be very careful if you're going to pull over onto the shoulder. There might not be one or there might only be, you know, six inches of, uh, of one. So what can you do? Well, you can call, check out the article by Brett Foote on Ford Authority, get the phone numbers, Right there, you've got your FOMO, FOMOCO recall number, 24S55. You've got your Ford customer service number. Call your dealer. If they give you the runaround, they shouldn't. Um, they're a good dealer. Mo almost all dealers are going to be very aware of all this. And if they seem a little lost, well, just call Ford customer service. But help your dealer out. Give them the recall number. They'll find it right away in their little computing system. Computers have made things a lot easier when you know how to use them. So Ford's doing the right thing. They're saying, hey, we test them all. We want to make sure that you get a new engine before it blows, before you lose power. Not because it's going to catch fire and they're worried about lawsuits, but because they don't want people freaking out and getting really stressed out and slamming on the brakes, maybe causing an accident just because they're stressed out. Again, I repeat, if your power vehicle loses power, no matter what brand you're driving, turn the emergency lights on, or at least the blinker, indicate where you're gonna be doing to the people in front, behind, and on the side of you, and slowly and calmly take off the side of the road. If you're doing 120 on the highway, remember, some people do 60 on the highway, kilometers per hour, I'm not talking miles per hour, but some people go, really slowly on the highway. It's not the end of the world if you slowly reduce your speed and wait for the safe and right time to pull off the road. So stay safe, folks. Driven Wild Outdoors. Dwayne, thank you so much for making it. Dwayne's back to making videos. Check his channel out, folks. So that is our story on the recall here. Pretty monumental when you've got 90,000 recalled, but it's the recall is to check them out. It's not that all 90,000 500, what was it, 90,736 engines are bad. It could be 50, 10, might be 1,000. They just want to check them all out. They want to make sure people are good and safe. Now, on to the next story, because that does conclude our story here on this major recall from Ford 
Ford's trouble has been lately in regards to recalls. I find they're being extremely responsible, but there have been a lot of recalls. So CEO Jim Farley said that priority number one is to get the quality back up. So if you're a Ford fan, things will be getting better and better. And all I can say is personally, if I'm looking at buying a, a 2023 Bronco, mid-model production, uh, mid-year mid production, or a 24 Bronco, or a new Bronco versus an ordered Bronco, let's say, versus a 21, 22 Bronco, I'd rather buy a Bronco that was built in, you know, June 2023 or sometime in 2024 than getting a used one. A lot of manu all manufacturers had to adapt some very stringent uh, rules, people missing a week of work because they have a, a bit of a cough. So it wasn't easy for, the ma for manufacturers in general. Sorry, folks, kind of starting to almost lose my voice. I don't know how much longer we're going to go, but uh, we'll do what we can here because we still have a good amount of material here. So 